Again, as usual, I'm gonna call here. I'm sorry, um, but we actually got home late um, tonight because we went over to check out the house. Um, they did a few more things uh, earlier today, um, so we went over to check um, a few things out. We also put a ceiling fan up, um, so there was that. Um, and then uh, we also checked out the two bathrooms upstairs, and there's a lot of little uh, mess ups and kind of bad things that happen to the tile. In both bathrooms, a lot of them are chipped. Um, there are un unlevel tiles um, for some reason. Uh, for instance, like one corner of the tile is coming off further than the rest of the wall or something for some strange reason. So there's that. Um, that's going to be fixed. As well as there's um, parts where there's absolutely no grout, which is understandable. The grout is very dark um, in color, and it's kind of hard to tell um, if, the, if uh, there was grout laid there um, when they're putting the the wall, the tile wall up. Um, so that's kind of understandable how they could have missed a few places. On top of those things, there were a few other things that kind of went bad, um, I guess, in the installation. So they'll have to fix those um, for sure. We'll have to call them back later. Another thing that we were doing though, as you saw, um, was setting up the pattern for the uh, railing um, because we got a bunch of different types of bars to put it, put um, in that would hold the rail itself and um, there was a certain order that my parents had in mind. So we had to get that all set up. Um, it didn't take too long, really. We were trying out a few other ideas, though, um, and they just didn't work. So we had to try and make it work with the 44 pieces we had there. Um, and it was kind of interesting because we kept having, like, one side uneven to the other, and we, we were trying to center it all um, as good as we could. So it took a little while, um, but, but not really too bad. Um, so anyways, there was that. We also, my sister and I, had to run out to the store and get some paint to mark the trees. I didn't record it, but there was a thing in the backyard um, that they, uh, the tree people are going to be using to um, take out some of the pine trees in the backyard, uh, especially the ones that are um, really close to the house because they are known for falling over in strong winds. They, they're not very tough trees when it comes to hard storms. Um, they're also basically lightning rods because of how tall they are. Um, so we're going to be taking out a few of them, uh, especially the ones that are the biggest and most damaged, um, like the ones wrapped in vines and all that. Those ones are going to fall. Um, for the ones that are healthy, though, I think we're leaving. Uh, it's just the ones that are either damaged or have vines wrapped all the way around them, all the way up to the top. There are a few of those. Um, we've got to definitely get rid of those. But then, um, earlier today, way earlier, uh, we tried switching the coil pack on my truck, um, and that didn't work. Uh, we were hoping that it was going to be, maybe we just switched one of the coil packs wrong um, because we did notice that the coil pack we replaced was um, actually for cylinder uh, 4 on the other side and 1 on the, um, on the left side if you're looking at the front of the vehicle. Um, so we actually switched the wrong one. Um, looking back at the diagram, you had to switch 3 on the left side to get to 2. Um, so we switched that didn't seem to do anything. Um, we also put premium fuel in it. Um, I was kind of against it because it was super expensive, but my dad insisted, so we did that. Um, and then we also put some uh, more injector cleaner in it. There's like a whole bottle of it. It says it treats up to 21 gallons of fuel, and my truck's got 18 and a half gallon uh, fuel tanks, so that'll work. Um, but anyways, I've got to call it here. It's getting late. Um, good morning to all of you, really. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Good night to all of you, and see all of you in the morning. Bye.